Today we're gonna take a look at some amazing tutorials that are aimed at different skill levels and cover a wide range of topics that will be definitely helpful for you. These tutorials range from visual effects, workflow breakdowns, modeling, physics, animation and much more. This video is brought to you by Yachtslife Thyssen, a Blender developer who has been creating great add-ons like Simply Cloth, Simply Wrap and Simply Micro Mesh. Simply Cloth add-on is, in my opinion, the best cloth simulation add-on that you can find right now. Also, Simply Wrap and Simply Micro Mesh add-ons are really cool to wrap stuff around your characters, props or environments easily to spare you the time and efforts necessary to do that. If you want to know more, you will find the necessary links in the description. We're gonna kick off this list with a recreation of a shot from the latest trailer of Top Gun Maverick. Brad from Light Architect will guide you through the process of recreating a plane's animation, but most importantly, the vapor trails, which is the meat of the tutorial. He also created a dedicated video explaining exactly how you can achieve the effect using a particle system. On the other hand, Simon3D uploaded a tutorial on how to create a Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan transformation or effect in Blender. Building on the previous anime fire tutorial, this one follows a similar workflow. However, you will apply different shaders with transparent parts. The focus of this tutorial is on the shader, but you will see at the end how you can make a particle system to make the effect of rocks going up affected by the force field. Next up, Granite Film uploaded the breakdown of his latest short animation called A Viking Scene in Blender, in which he breaks down the process of how he created this battleship scene with the city burning down in the background. Along the way, you're gonna learn a few things. Also, the video goes through a range of different topics like modeling, of course, in addition to simulation, fire effects, how to create an ocean, sculpting, and more. We also have another LEGO reveal tutorial from Halifax Learn on YouTube, this time with a volumetric effect. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to create this volumetric LEGO reveal in Blender and you will see first how you can import SVG files into Blender and then create the cutout of the logo and you will see how to add a volumetric object and how to animate the light. At the end, you will see some compositing tips to enhance the final render. One of the best ways to showcase your environment is to create a day and night cycles. Decoded on YouTube uploaded a tutorial on how to do just that, a time-lapse video that goes through the process of sunrise, sunset and sunrise again. You will learn how to model, create the environment, how to add materials and shaders to your scene and best practices when rendering in cycles. You will also learn how to make rain with a ripple effect on the water. Talking about rendering, if you want to learn how to cut render times in half for free, Decoded uploaded a video outlining his workflow for minimizing render time. We all would like some speed when rendering our projects. Sometimes rendering an animation can take multiple days. This method optimizes rendering time by cutting down the number of frames that are being rendered. So you will let AI frame interpolation software fill in the missing frames. For example, you would render half of the frame in the animation and then you plug the animation through frame interpolation program which generates quickly all the missing frames based on the existing ones. The result is a fast render time with basically the same quality and frame rate. In this one, you're gonna learn how to make a fully procedural fingerprint in perfection texture using geometry nodes in Blender. The way this is achieved is by scattering five different scale and rotation fingerprint textures and using geo nodes to drive the whole process. This way, you can control all the parameters of the textures in a non-destructive fashion. This is a great tutorial because the information you will learn here can be applied on any number of textures such as scratches, leaves, bushes and so on. We also have this great tutorial by Andrew Price from the Blender Guru. With the power of geometry nodes, you're gonna make a panel and see how to animate the text across correctly by combining boolean operations and math. This method can be used to generate any number of panels and it is highly customizable, so you can print any text on the shape you want. It's fully procedural at the end, so you will have a node group that you can use on any number of projects and it is definitely worth watching. 
If you want to learn how to create a cool motion graphics particles animation in Blender, Bed Normals uploaded a tutorial on how to create this Houdini animation inside Blender 3.3. First of all, make sure it is the same version because there are some version specific functionalities that you will need. The idea behind the effect is simple though. You need a particle system where the force field turbulence influences the behavior of the particles. There is a lot of information about particle system, geometry nodes and materials. Definitely learned a lot from this one and I'm sure you will too. Also, if you want to learn about real-time reflections and indirect lighting in EV, Pear from P2 Design uploaded a video explaining how you can get the best reflection and indirect lighting in EV by using screen space reflection, reflection robes, and irradiance volume. You will learn about each one of them and how to best use it in your scene. If you are familiar with game development in Unity or Unreal, those concepts will feel familiar for you. First, you will see screen space reflection and point out some of its limitations. Next, you will take a closer look at cube maps, reflection planes, and finally radiance volume to get the indirect lighting. Also, if you want to learn how to make and use your own panoramas with Blender and Clip Studio Paint, the Clip Studio Paint channel on YouTube uploaded a video on how to create this interior in Blender by using kitbashing techniques, importing a bunch of assets from Sketchfab using the Sketchfab add-on, and then rendering a panorama of the interior using cycles. After that, you will see how to import that into Clip Studio Paint as a panorama background. In addition, you're gonna learn how to add 3D models to match the same perspective as the panorama, and how can this be useful in real projects. This awesome tutorial by Ryan King is all about how to create procedural sci-fi metal plating in Blender using only the shader editor. This one is a must watch. He will take you through the whole process step by step. You can learn a lot of things about combining nodes together and Ryan is a great teacher. Everything is explained clearly and the setup itself is not complicated. Just good old clever use of Voronoi, Brick and Noise Texture nodes. This one is a great geometry nodes tutorial by Kaizen Tutorials on how to create a fully textured and procedural ancient Greek column. Leveraging the power of geometry nodes, you will have control over the number of segments the column has. In addition to the height per segment, the overall width of the column, the pedestal type and so on. Also you can see how you can add procedural edge wear to make it look old and worn out. This is fun and definitely worth watching. If you are interested in these tutorials, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.